Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. I'm here with Vlad Puchek from BAM's Surveillance Department. Vlad is the author of the new white paper, Understanding the Credit Impacts of U.S. Demographic Shifts, The Case for Granular Analysis. Vlad, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So this paper is not a paper where you're going to go chapter and verse and actually list the demographic shifts. We've heard about them. We know about the aging of the population. This is more about a how to incorporate those uh, issues into credit analysis. Is that, that fair? That is correct. Uh -huh. So. You know, what are the things that man analysts are looking at? How does that transition? Sure, so demographic changes uh, primarily impact insurers' budgets, and that's both revenue and expenditure side. Uh, this in turn translates uh, into uh, property values, uh, impact on property values, economic activity, and uh, in turn, property uh, taxes and sale tax revenues. Uh, additionally, school enrollment uh, is also impacted, and that uh, translates to kind of drive state aid for, uh, for school districts. Um, on the expense side, uh, aging population uh, puts a demand on higher uh, health and human service uh, spending. So there's an old cliche in the muni market that says when you've seen one muni credit, you've only seen one muni credit, but you need to go deeper at the granular level. And it seems like demographic analysis is another place where that, that is proven true. That's correct. So you'll find a lot of articles that sort of generalize uh, the demographic profile of states regions uh, and kind of trends there. Uh, they tend not to apply to every town or every school district uh, because they all face uh, different pressures. Uh, so understanding the, the specific demographics of a specific borrower, especially when looking at 30-year obligations, is extremely important uh, in our analysis. And kind of taking things granular uh, is how we approach um, every segment of the market you know, it gives us an early look into uh, what the core issues are for those issuers. So give us some uh, more details. What specifically, what are the types of data you and your colleagues are looking at for? Sure. We primarily start uh, looking at the overall population trends, unemployment, personal income, and retail sales. Um, and then we sort of do a deeper dive and we'll look at longer term economic drivers and that's where the granular aspect really comes in. We'll look at transportation, uh, proximity to transportation, job access, uh, infrastructure quality is extremely important. And uh, th those are basically longer term drivers of the overall economic health of, um, of that region. Uh, however, the demographics by themselves is not enough and it's only a small piece of the larger puzzle when we do our analysis. Great. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And thanks for watching. The entire uh, white paper is available for download. You can see the link in the description right below this video. And if you have any questions about our analysis, please email us at creditinsights at buildamerica.com.